In fact, Blue Dart has reported earnings. Uh, the numbers are above, uh, you know, what the street was estimating, and the margins have gone up sharply on a sequential basis. However, the top line growth has remained slightly slow. Uh, let's discuss the same with Anil Gambhir, who's the CFO at Blue Dart. Uh, good morning, Anil. Wishing you a very happy Diwali from the BTVI family. Uh, to start off with, firstly, if you could just tell us, uh, margins, we've seen a major up move that has come in on a sequential basis. Uh, the top line growth has remained slightly slow. What has worked and what has not worked this time around? Firstly, good morning to you, Hiral, and to your family and the channel people and also to the viewers and happy, happy festival seasons. Uh, as regards uh, this uh, top line, uh, if you look at it, our top line is reflection of uh, the economic scenario in the country uh, because we are the trade and uh, commerce facilitator uh, you know, in, the, in, the, in the country. So what happens in the GDP actually reflects in our numbers. So uh, you've seen already RBI and IMF uh, both have uh, you know lowered the percentage growth for the year uh, because of uh, demotization and GST. So that's where you see our numbers reflecting the same uh, you know sentiment sentiments what uh, we are reading you know from these reports as regards uh, bottom uh, bottom line improvement uh, looking at this challenging economic scenario uh, we embarked upon uh, cost optimization and efficiency improvement program and that's where probably uh, it has helped in this quarter for us to you know improve our margin right uh, so anil if you could just tell us you know after three quarters of slump uh, margins have normalized in the second quarter of fi18 uh, we've rebounded to almost 11% from multi year low margins of 6.9% uh, that we saw in the previous quarter uh, do you think the 11% mark in terms of double digit margins is sustainable going ahead See, uh, as I mentioned earlier, our numbers are a reflection of uh, you know, economic activity in the country. So we have seen green shoots, uh, you may say green shoots or maybe because of festive season, uh, there is a you know, upward trend in our numbers uh, for about you know, second part of the September onwards. And uh, we are seeing the same reflecting in October as well you know, as early you know, numbers what we, we are able to see. So if it is a green shoot, probably one can look at it that, you know, that, that should reflect in our number. But if it is only festive, uh, you, know, uh, you know, shopping which is reflecting in uh, this moment, then we, uh, probably this may not be sustainable because then, uh, you know, uh, what we have taken up as a cost uh, optimization program, that only could help uh, to certain extent. Because the top line has to grow to, you know, get uh, to deliver the bottom line numbers. Right. So, you know, uh, taking into consideration the impact of demonetization, post you, after that you have GST as well. Uh, everything said and done, what's FI18 expected to look like? Do we expect, uh, you know, lower double digit growth or it could be on the higher single digit side? See, we are reading, uh, you know, uh, reports from media and uh, as government has been saying that uh, GST is good for economy. And currently we are facing teething problems of implementation and people are getting their acts together to implement GST in a, in a rightful manner. So if uh, this thing gets stabilizer, uh, if stabilizes, so what government has been talking about that there will be, you know, uh, upswing in the economy and obviously we expect that upswing to uh, reflect in our numbers. So it all depends on how economy takes uh, shapes up from here uh, moving forward, you know, post implementation of GST, you know, what, you know, we are reading in the newspaper that, you know, teething problems are getting resolved by government, government is listening. One thing very good is that whatever problems, pe you know, businesses are facing, government has been taking corrective actions so we see if this stabilizes faster obviously that will uh, give us uh, you know a momentum in our numbers right uh, apart from that anil if you could just tell us uh, gst as such is a major benefit in terms of where logistic players go uh, yes we have seen the pressure of gst at least in the beginning of it uh, but how is it expected to benefit a blue dart going ahead if you talk at least from an fi19 perspective if not fi18 
so uh, issue is like how it uh, pans out because today's situation is very fluid like we earlier talked about uh, you know uh, e way bill coming in from october now that got postponed so obviously there's a lot of effort put into from compliance point of view that will have to be repeated again as and when it comes similarly there are many provisions which are changing so uh, basically it all would depend on uh, how fast gst stabilizes uh, we are reading uh, news reports and uh, I'm sure you also would know because we are interacting with other industry you know, players as well that you know once it is stabilized then only one would be able to you know estimate that how numbers would uh, look like uh, you know going forward. Right. All right, Anil. Pleasure speaking to you and wish you a happy Diwali once again. Uh, so that was the management of Blue Dart. Uh, currently, we've seen a major improvement on a sequential basis in terms of margins. Go green shoots are emerging. Uh, the stock is well seeing gains of almost 1.2% as we speak. If we could just pull up a YTD performance as well, because uh, while GST talks were on, you know, logistic counters were the ones which have seen a major rally uh, coming in there. If we can just pull up a YTD or a one-year chart of a Blue Dart and see what's the kind of performance that we've seen from this counter uh, there you go ytd basis six and a half percent is the kind of downtick uh, that we've seen but on a one-year basis we could see some bit of positive momentum uh, that would have come in because apart from this you would have the likes of uh, 19 and a half percent in fact is the downturn that we've seen here uh, but in 2016 as well when there were conversations going on in terms of a gst goes uh, logistic counters were the ones which would see a major rally coming in there or uh, you know on a daily basis uh, but overall as the management has indicated fi 19 will be some Thing that we will be watching out for uh, whether the benefits of GST start pouring in or not. But uh, that's the story in terms of where Blue Dart is concerned. Uh, but we will slip into a short break. Up next, we will get you the management of Axis Bank as well, uh, with the management giving us details as to what's the road ahead. Please stay tuned.